Hi guys, this is Rampant FM, and today we're going to do a basic editor guide uh, for the FM 2021 editor. Some of you guys are, you know, maybe are a wee bit unsure on how to use it. So we're basically just going to go through the basic stuff of what you want to do. Nothing advanced today, pretty much um, the standard of what people use the editor for. Yeah, well, we'll make a start. Uh, there's different ways of doing things, which I'll show you, uh, but... There has been a few issues with editor. I've heard uh, a few reports from people, um, but to be honest, I've not seen anything. So hopefully you don't have any errors. But the main thing is when you're looking at the database, there is different things uh, like clubs, people. Make sure you're in the right one because if you're typing in, you know, for example, Dundee, it will not come up unless there's a person called Dundee. Uh, we'll use Dundee United as our example today. Um, we'll start. You can actually change their name um, for benefit of this i'll just put dundee terrors because the their nickname is the terrors um you know i don't want to <laughs> waste your time and um you know <laughs> basically have to come up with something clever so we'll just call the uh, the terrors we can change the attendance uh, as well of uh, tanadice park if you want to uh, make it a wee bit higher uh, actually the minimum attendance is a bit higher than the attendance there which is a bit weird but uh, yeah you can change that stuff the maximum attendance Basically, I've rang, we'll check finances. We can add a wee bit of um, money uh, for them, like maybe, maybe 20 million and, you know, uh, maybe 10 million on the transfer budget. Um, sometimes it will come up that you need to change the reputation, which is fine. You can find that in club details. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into that because I think that's something a wee bit more advanced, as I say, but you can change all the ticket and prices and whatnot. Uh, other income, uh, again, you can add uh, different... Um, incomes if you want to there is a thing to note on this though uh, there is a new renew income and fixed fixed value fixed value basically means um you let you get that amount over uh what you've put as the end date whereas new renew income basically allows you to renew it till you know maybe 2030 for example if the club did have debt it would be there but they don't so but you can just press clear and it will clear all the debt. There is different ways of adding players. Sometimes it's easier just to go into the club and add the player from there. All you need to do is type in the name. So we're going to add Neymar to uh, Dundee United. So yeah, just search in there for Neymar and we'll get that added. There he is, Neymar at PSG. So we'll add him and then we'll obviously see that he's uh, actually, rather than scroll, I'll just probably just do potential or current ability. It's a lot easier. But yeah, Neymar is now added to Dundee Terrors, as we're calling them. One thing I didn't actually say is you want to... Um, you don't have anything to load. It, basically, as soon as the database is open, uh, that's it. You don't have anything to load because it's still at the base game. This is the other way of adding players. We're just going to add Mbappe. Uh, We've done it through people and typed in his name from there and the other way of doing this is uh, just by going to contract and what we're going to do is uh, type in the club's name which is obviously Dundee um, oh wait it's not Dundee United it's Dundee Terror so that will not show up uh, but yeah yeah so that, that that's proof that the, the name has changed uh, um, yeah so Dundee Terrors okay and now he'll be at Dundee, but you may want to change, obviously, his wage, for example. It's going to be far too high. Uh, I don't even know why I added that extra there, <laughs> to be honest. But, um, yeah, oh, God, I'm having a bit of a thing, you know. Um, yeah. But you could maybe, uh, there's other stuff you could do. You could maybe um, extend his contract, for example, put it up to 2025. Um, all the basic sort of stuff. Uh, change his ability. You can do this with any player. He's obviously one of the best players in the game, but maybe you want to make him better. We'll give him a, a 190 current ability and his potential basically, you know, the be very, be very best player in the game. Though he's not too far off. Um, you can obviously ch change his uh, peak uh, current and peak potential. And uh, if you wanted to, you, you might want to turn him into a complete unknown. Uh, you can change his reputation. That will do that. If you, <laughs> you don't have to do a cut or anything like that. It's just what it does. Uh, but yeah, you can change that if you want to. That's just the, the basic stuff to, to maybe 
Uh, maybe he's put on a wee bit of lockdown weight. You can add a, a weight, and maybe he's got better with his left foot, so he's uh, equally as good with his right hand as well as his left. So, yeah, you can pretty much change a lot of stuff in there. Uh, that's just me showing you uh, different things. For the stadium, um, Tannadice Park, maybe you want to uh, give the capacity a bit of a boost. Uh, maybe, what, 60,000? Uh, seating capacity, 60,000. And um, maybe the expansion capacity as high as 80,000 if you wanted to. You, uh, these are just different things that you can change. Uh, there, as I said, there's a lot to the editor. Uh, you can pretty much change everything in the game if you wanted to. Go back to Dundee Terrors. Uh, the wee sidebar there is basically uh, just an easy way. I always go, always sort of go back to the the things you've looked at. Um, sometimes it's easier to do that than. Uh, what else can we do? Yeah, we'll, what we'll do, we'll move them to um, the English Premiership. I think we'll 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 give that a try. Cause some people like to do that. I think it's just Premiership, isn't it? Yeah, English Premiership. Yep, brilliant. Uh, one thing you have to do though, you have to, because we're not doing advanced, you have to make sure the numbers still match to what it would be uh, for it to work, basically. You can't have any added extra teams um, and, and stuff like that. So we'll have to move a team um, from the Premiership to the Scottish Premiership. Or um, th there is issues. I, I, I don't even know if it would work. Um you tend to do that if you want to, like if you're doing a custom database, you'll, you'll uh, go advanced to change the league rules and settings and, and games and whatnot. So we'll move them to the, is it still the, is it, I'm not even sure, I don't forget, is the Ladbrokes, yeah, it's not the Ladbrokes Premiership anymore, I think it's just the Scottish Premiership. Um, We'll just give that a try. So yeah, we'll move Newcastle to the Scottish Premiership uh, in, in place of Dundee United. And yeah, that's pretty much. I'm trying to think of other stuff that I can show you. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that that's a handy tool that that we sidebar. Um, yeah, we can change the income. Um, I'm trying to think what else we can sort of go through. But yeah, it's all self-explanatory. Uh, some of the stuff, obviously, like the the match, uh, ticket prices and stuff like that. The kits and colours for Dundee United, obviously. Um. They're you know they're licensed in the game, so um you're you're probably best not changing that. Uh, you could make a third kit if you really wanted to, but I'll, I'll not go too far into that. It could be a separate video. Uh, you could make a, a affiliated club. You sometimes see them uh, in game. What we'll do actually, we'll add uh, we'll add. But actually, best not to add Dundee, <laughs> the rivals as their affiliated club. Uh, might be a bit of riots. We'll add uh, our broof uh, to their affiliated clubs, and I'll show you something pretty cool actually. Um, well, cool if you're into FM, but we'll um, I'll show you how to make the standard affiliate. Make sure you're the main club. Um, you don't really have to change that, but it's best to if you want to. And then you click on it. Um, you don't really need a start or end date. I think the game pretty much gives you one anyway. But you could have players go on loan, first option to buy. Uh, I always sort of tend to. If I'm doing this, set it up that you uh, that's a permanent deal always, just so there's no issues basically. But the the thing I was going to say is you can actually make them a B club, kind of like what they have in in Spain, for example. And the way you would do that is well, it's pretty much already done. You just have to change it to uh, to, to to B club, but you have you have players move freely. Uh, you don't have to have loan or first option to buy because you're pretty much the the same club, and you can have uh, use the same kit. I'm just trying to think of other things that I can sort of show you that are quite basic to do. But yeah, uh, Dundee Terrors. Uh, so that's a terrible name, to be honest. But, uh, but yeah, you can change the hashtag if you want to. Maybe terrible or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just realised I spelled that wrong, but it well, uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, that's where the reputation is if you want to change it. If it does ask you, if you're giving them too much money, you can change it on that page. Their reputation, that would make them kind of higher rep. Um, if you wanted a full, it would be like, what, 9,999. Uh, 9, I don't think it gets to, to uh, 10,000. What we do now is we save data, edit it as, and I always call it what it is, basically. If it's done details that you've made, then you call it. Um, so there's, there's no confusion. 
what we'll do is then we'll load FM. So when you start a new career, um, it's make sure that's obviously ticked your, the, the file that you've just created, um, or it won't work, obviously. But uh, nine times out of ten, it will be ticked, so um, you, you don't really have to worry too much about that. So here we are with the Dundee Terrors. Um, I'll obviously double check everything is fine and dandy. Uh, but yeah, uh, the name has changed. Uh, they are in the English Premiership. So you'll see that Tanner Dice is now a 60,000 all-seater stadium. Uh, finances, they do have the finances that we give them. I think the wage budget's changed because uh, I don't believe I changed Neymar's, uh, the money that Neymar gets. So uh, our broker now are feeder clubs, so we can actually pretty much control them. Unfortunately, you can't manage them. I think you can manage them, uh, your feeder clubs and friendlies if you wanted to, but um, yeah, you can't unfortunately manage two teams. Hey, maybe if you wanted to, you could sack Dick Campbell um, or your, your feeder club manager if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You can control different uh, different players and different teams and move them up to the teams. So there is Neymar uh, at Dundee. Yeah, I don't think I changed his uh, contract, so that's why they yeah. So that's why his uh, the wage budget is is it is. Uh, Kylian Mbappe, we did change. We'll just double check his contract. Yeah, he's on pretty low wages and whatnot. And we'll just double check. Um, yeah, you'll see that our broth are have the same badge as Dundee United like we put. Uh, you don't actually have to have that. It's just if you put um, use same kits and stuff, then they, they will basically have the same kits as you if you wanted them as a feeder club and stuff. You could probably even change their name. So that is the video, guys. Hopefully you learned the basics of how to use the editor. Hopefully everything was clear enough for you. I uh, appreciate all the support. Um, I'll be doing more videos. I'll probably be doing a wee bit more advanced videos uh, for this sort of coming um year if you will of fm21 don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll uh, see you soon